Hey everyone, welcome back to The Brain Coach. Today we're diving into something fascinating, how the tiny bacteria in your gut, called probiotics, can have a massive impact on your brain function. Yep, we're talking about the gut-brain connection. The gut-brain axis is a powerful communication network linking your gut and your brain. And guess who's the star of this show? Probiotics, the good bacteria that live in your gut. First off, probiotics help maintain a healthy balance of gut bacteria. This balance is super important because it influences the production of neurotransmitters, like serotonin, dopamine, and GABA. These guys are the chemicals in your brain that control your mood, sleep, and even your learning abilities. Now, if your gut's inflamed, it could spell trouble for your brain. Chronic gut inflammation is linked to conditions like depression and anxiety. But guess what? Probiotics can help reduce that inflammation, which might just lower your risk for these issues. Stress got you down? Probiotics might help with that too. Some strains of probiotics can lower your cortisol levels, that's the stress hormone, and ease symptoms of anxiety. So, keeping your gut healthy might also help you keep calm and carry on. Probiotics also strengthen your gut lining, acting like a barrier that stops harmful stuff from entering your bloodstream. A strong gut lining means less inflammation, and that means a happier, healthier brain. Okay, but what about your brain power? Some studies suggest probiotics can boost your memory and learning abilities. And if you're feeling down, probiotics might help lift your mood by producing short-chain fatty acids that influence neurotransmitter production. So, which probiotics should you be looking for? Strains like Lactobacillus rhamnosus can help reduce anxiety, while Bifidobacterium longum is known for improving mood. And the combo of Lactobacillus helveticus and Bifidobacterium bifidum, great for tackling stress. This whole field is called psychobiotics, the study of how probiotics affect your mental health. It's an exciting area of research, and it might just be the key to better brain health. So how can you get more probiotics in your diet? Try adding some yogurt, kefir, or sauerkraut to your meals. Or, if you're not into those, there are plenty of probiotic supplements available too. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content on how to live a healthier, happier life. And let me know in the comments, are you adding probiotics to your routine? I'd love to hear your thoughts.